Okay, in this particular lesson, what we're going to look at is something called equivalent rational expressions. Uh, equivalent is the same as equal to each other. Um, so two expressions are equivalent if they are equal or the same after simplifying. Uh, so for example, if I was to relate this to a, a more simple topic, which, which uh, doesn't have variables, uh, for example, we would ask ourselves, is 4 6 equivalent to 6 ninths. Uh, well, what we did when we did those is we simplified them or put them into lowest terms and 4 6 could be reduced to 2 thirds. 6 ninths could also be reduced to 2 thirds. Uh, so our answer is yes, absolutely. 4 6 and 6 ninths are equivalent because after we simplify them they're equal to each other. So we're looking at rational expressions. It's the same case. Um, another thing to be careful of is that you have to for rational expressions, uh, in the case of variables, we have to make sure that we state non-permissible values for equivalent expressions, uh, which we've looked at in a previous lesson. So for example, all of these terms, 4x over x plus 1, 4x squared over x times x plus 1, and 4x times x minus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 1, they're all equivalent because if I was to simplify them, so let me show you, for example, in uh, this second one, 4x squared is equivalent to 4 times x times x. Uh, so one of these x's could cancel out, and what you'll see is that what we have is 4x over x plus 1, which is the same as this. The same with the next one. If I cancel out the common factors of x minus 1, I also have 4x over x plus 1. So all of these simplify to 4x over x plus 1. Uh, so they are equivalent to each other after simplifying. Uh, however, they are not equivalent to each other for the non-permissible values. And the non-permissible values, uh, in this particular case, there are three of them. These expressions are not equivalent for these non-permissible values. When x, so x cannot equal negative 1 for that x plus 1 factor, uh, x cannot equal 0 for that x factor, and for the factor x minus 1, x can also not equal positive 1. So they're equivalent in all cases except when x is equal to negative 1, 0, or positive 1. Uh, in our last example here, it asks, are the expressions x squared minus 3x minus 10 over x minus 5 and x plus 2 equivalent? If so, for which values? Uh, so in order to find that out, all we're going to do is simplify uh, each of the rational expressions. This x plus 2 is as simple as it gets. However, this guy here, uh, we can try and factor. The numerator, in fact, can be factored to uh, x minus 5 and x plus 2. And your denominator is already in simplest form, and your denominator is x minus 5. So in this particular case, you'll see that these common factors of x minus 5 can be divided out. So in fact, these are equivalent. So the answer to the question of are they equivalent is yes. The answer to the question, if so, for which values, uh, you'll notice that the only non-permissible value in this case, before simplifying, was there that they're equal for all values except for your non-permissible values, x cannot equal 5. So uh, all values except x is equal to 5.